why why do black black like black men like travel to Latin America? <laughs> You know I'm going to ask that. <laughs> Besides the women? She's been drinking. We're doing this video. <laughs> this is our second take. You are feeling yourself. You are tips. So I'm using her camera right now. I'm teaching her how to vlog. This is an easy lick. What's up, brother? It's not really heavy, but she give nothing. <laughs> See that case. Hey. <laughs> she get it that it's perfect. This is perfect weather. <laughs> oh, that's what I need to do. I heard y'all got tattoo. Be, not tattoo what you guys do. Because um, it's like that in, in, in South Africa, right? So guys, ever since Ruto said yes to vlogging, you see? Ever since yeah. Look what I found, guys. Not too bitter, you know? Yeah. So we're gonna end the night like this, huh? Yeah. Beer, this beer is made in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Salud. So I'm here waiting for Zach. Ooh, I think she like me. Ooh, I think she like me. I'm the top shot to spit my show and bought a watch piece. She wanna get a residual. So they stretching it, wanna get physical. You can never finesse my money long. All my bitches are bad just like me alone. Licky berry blurry in the sauce jam. Alibaba saucepan knocking out the boss man. Zoo's looking. I can subscribe. Guys, look what I found. Look how mad. <laughs> yeah, she found me. Actually, I was walking and she saw me walking and she grabbed me and told me, hey, come have lunch. <laughs> she found me. Yeah. Introduce <laughs> yourself. My name is Check. Check and Effect is the, my channel. Uh, I do I do travel vlogs all over all over the world. All over the world. South America, Africa, Europe, everywhere. So uh, my channel is more travel and tourism, telling people, showing people different countries, the lifestyle, the culture, and how people are in other countries, and how they treat me as a black American. Also. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. You're telling me uh, his first experience in Nairobi? <laughs> no, but I, it's, I had a bad experience because I met someone, and he went to jail. My first night in Nairobi, and my friend went to jail. Uh -huh. um, but the people seem very friendly. I don't want to paint in a, <laughs> a, a, a bad stereotype. But he was drinking and they had a stop. And they did a breathalyzer and he failed. And I had to drive his car. And I never drove with a steering wheel on the right. I never drove with on the left side of the road. I never. So it was my first time driving that way. And it was, yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. So, so that was my experience. So now. We got to figure out a way to get this guy out of jail. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny, but it's not funny. You know it's what I'm saying? It's funny. You know why it's funny for me? Wow. Because this is something we should have knew. He should have knew. Yeah. yeah. And when he was driving out, I actually, I actually didn't want to go. Yeah. Because it's like, let's say we're here, right? Let's say this is a lounge. Yeah. We're having a good time. We're drinking. There's another lounge here. There's another lounge here. There's another lounge. Why get in our car and go somewhere else? I didn't want to go. I did it because I didn't want him to feel bad. Yeah, and then it's Saturday. It's a street where there's a bar, of course, for the police. is waiting because they know people getting drunk. They had a paddy wagon. They had a wagon where they put people in the back. And once they filled it up, that was it. They left and then everybody, the rest of the people that's drunk can go. <laughs> yeah, they wanted, I, had no, I, had no I don't think he's going to get out today. Maybe well, I don't want to think money. negative. Let's think positive. Yeah. Okay. Let's think positive. <laughs> So uh, she has me here, Komoto has me here at Kilimanjaro. All right, I'm gonna do my vlog also, guys. Yeah, so it's gonna check be a, him out. It's gonna be a double vlog, checking effect. <laughs> um, here we are. Double vlog. Yeah, now this you're allowed to vlog in the oh, yeah. city center. So guys, we are here at Kilimanjaro. I like the name of it. I like it. Yeah, it's I like the mountain. Name. Yeah, yeah, I know. Kilimanjaro. <laughs> so we're gonna try. This is gonna be my first time trying eating food in Kenya. Yeah. So we're gonna try something. I'm gonna ask her what she recommends. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend? So I'm not gonna eat a lot. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> do you recommend? Do you, do you take lamb? Yeah, I like lamb. Seafood, yeah. No, lamb. Lamb beef. Goat, goat. Oh, goat, lamb. Goat, oh, yeah. no, I'm thinking lamb beef. Yeah, I like I like goat. Mm. 
had to order a drink in the meantime. I do gali, you know gali. I saw you ate pop. Yeah, yeah I had that. So you like it? Yeah, I like it, but it, it's, it fills you up, though. <laughs> I'm not trying to get full. I know it sounds bad. I'm going to try it with a mint tea, though. Let me try mint tea to start off. Try it. My ginger tea. You like ginger tea? Yeah, it's good for you. They got detox tea, lemon tea, flat, flat tummy tea. They got everything. <laughs> I'm gonna get pineapple juice and a tea. Hello, how you doing, Carol? Hi. How's your day going? <laughs> um, yes. I'll let the lady go first. Yeah, we have a munch chicken. Hmm? Munch chicken. Munch chicken. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And also a roast of pan fry, but it's yellow pan fry. Oh, yeah. a roast of Yeah, a roast is a good meat. Oh, okay. yeah. Fried. Yeah. In the meantime, mm -hmm. while she's deciding, mm -hmm. I'm going to have a fresh ginger tea, okay. and I'm also have pineapple. But mm -hmm. the ginger tea you can bring out now, the pineapple, I would rather with the food. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're doing a food mm -hmm. review. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you come Drink, drink, drink. She got my drink already. Is in a detox. Detox. But drink cooking You doing a detox? Yeah, this is mixture. Detoxing? Mocktails. Mocktails. What is the mocktail? Mocktails. Yeah. As in a pombe. Oh. Yeah. What's a Adi, mocktail? Yeah. Is the same thing as a cocktail? Yeah, but it doesn't. No have liquor. Have liquor yeah. Oh, that's why it's called the mock. Yeah. Garnish. Okay. Garnish is the mocktail. Mocktail. Hapa. Hmm. But it's a square of limajaro mocktail. Food? Yeah. You didn't order food? All this time you was talking, I thought you was ordering. For you. Oh, she said for me. Huh? For you. For me, I ordered <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know, man. Um, I want something light. Something light. No, I don't want a lot of food. Okay, you can try chicken strips. Chicken strips? I want something a little different. Like chicken strips is kind of... That's fried chicken strip, right? Yeah, like Kenya. Yeah, that's the Niminge. Yeah, Niminge. Niminge. Oh, Risha. My food. Yeah. Well, if it... Yes, I'm okay, Risha. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. We can... All right, all right. Yeah, I'm sure. So, you want to get the kitchen? Since since we're sharing food, yeah. bring us like a little appetizer where we can get something like this. So since this we're sharing, is that's pancake. Oh, that's that's pancake. Yeah. That's not pancake. No appetizer. <laughs> oh, they don't have appetizer. All right, that's okay. We're good like that. Thank you. Yeah, is in How many languages do you speak? Um, English, Portuguese, Portuguese, Spanish, and a little bit of French. Yeah. It's Africa got so many languages. You know, yeah, like my that black American to me. YouTuber? No. Oh, just, just in general? In, in general, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How long you been doing videos? Long. <laughs> Six years. Six years? Mm -hmm. It started off slow, like when you first started? Very slow. Very what, slow. You were doing, what type, you, were you doing the same type of videos when you first started or you was in your house? Just in talking. House. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Most people start like that. I've been doing yeah. it for four years. Because yeah. I'm not like, really like yeah. Well, like it's almost four years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's risky though. Like because it, it takes courage. Well, it takes a little bit more courage for a woman than a man. Yeah. Because, like, I was in Durban and mm. I was talking to this guy and I was like, man, if, what you think? You think I could record this area? And the guy said, 
things can happen, but you're not a small guy, you know, you don't look like somebody that is easy to rob. Mm -hmm. So I think because of the way I look, nobody has tried to rob me yet. So, Let's keep it that. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't, yeah. got, I haven't got robbed since I've been doing videos. It, it's been times where it came close, but I never got robbed. Well, the first time you came to like Africa is Nigeria. Nigeria? Like the first time you landed in Africa, it's Nigeria. No, well, if you don't count Morocco, then yeah, it's Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to count them, if you don't count the Arabic people, then then it's, you know I used to call them Arabs, and it's offensive when you call them Arabs. So that's why I say Arabic now. They don't like. Oh yeah. It's offensive when you say Arabs. It's Arabic. Yeah. Arab. Yeah, it's Arab. So. Uh, if you don't count that, then the first place was Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But if you count that, then Morocco. Mm -hmm. Do you feel safe here? Oh yeah, this it, yeah. <laughs> Compared to Nigeria, <laughs> I can be like like even like even something like, even when you have a camera in your hand uh -huh. and you like have it down they're, and now they're, they're, they're looking like mm -hmm. like you're not even recording. You just have it down like this and they're looking like mm -hmm. like certain places I can go. I can have a camera and people. People see it, but they're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. But Nigeria? Yeah. <laughs> Here, they just like lessen the laws of blogging. They come out in, in public. Mm -hmm. Like the current president like made it more easier for us to blog. Oh, oh really? Yeah, like just this year. Mm. Is this the place where the president said that, or that maybe that's Uganda? Mm -hmm. The president said they no more different like like if they're going to do movies or uh, actors they want the, you to hire the local people first was that here yeah. somewhere there was somewhere where they somewhere where they said um other companies can't come and mm. they have to hire the people here they can hire their people but they have to hire the locals oh, to I, I think it was kenya I, i'm not <laughs> but i know Ken, I, I know uganda and kenya got a lot of stuff going on like <laughs> with the uh, LGBTQ community, yeah. like I saw one thing was guy was like, "Hey, you're not that here." It's more worse in Uganda. In Uganda, yeah. yeah. yeah no, but I don't think people will arrest you. Yeah, people get arrested for that. Now. Yeah, in, in in Uganda, it's like illegal. Yeah, it's like Jamaica. Jamaica is not. It's not illegal in Jamaica, but they they frown upon it so bad to where you can get beat up, you know. And then like people like that, they they do it like they have parties mm -hmm. and they like nobody knows, oh, only it's them. Know. Yeah, it's private. They don't it's, they don't broadcast it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was in Jamaica talking to a girl and she was telling me, and I was like, how did she know all this? Mm. Then later on, I found out she was. I didn't know she was. Yeah, I didn't know. So I was like hoping I, you know. Uh, but that, I was like, how did how she know about these private parties? How do you know about all this stuff? And then I found out she was. Uh, one of them. How's the nightlife like there? Nigeria? Yeah. Um, they don't have, no, they have a good nightlife. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been to the full nightlife here, so I can't compare. Can't compare. I've only been to one place. Uh -huh. It's my second day. <laughs> it's actually my first day. Oh, you actually have to go to Milan. Milan? You have to go to Milan. Yeah, this is my first day. Yeah. Second, first day, yesterday was my first night. Mm -hmm. So I can't really compare because I've been a lot of nightlife in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But here I've only been to that one, Westland. Yeah, so I, yeah, but it was nice. It was nice. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice. No, one thing with Kenyans, they like partying like different clubs. Like the, they, like, they like club hopping. Yeah. They don't stay in one place. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're friendly. Just come out drinking. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. And then they're like, I'm like, oh, nice. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, people like to talk. <laughs> I love it. Especially yeah. if they knew you are like, no, not even if you're a foreigner, even if you're yeah, just, yeah. people like Yeah, dance. that's the most vibe I got since I've been here. Like, people just come and shake my hand and ask me how I'm I doing. Yeah, I was shaking. <laughs> I was like, huh? I'm like, is this a setup? <laughs> but um, I had a good time, though. It was nice. I want to go back. That's how nice it was. I was mad that I left, but I didn't want to make my friend think that, you know. Mm -hmm. So I came there to see him, so I'm like, let me just see him. Let me leave with him. 
But I wanted to say, bro, I don't like clubs. Let's just stay here. Yeah, yeah. I don't do clubs. I don't think you would have mind. Yeah, he was drunk. He was complete drunk. Nah, he was a complete drunk. He could drive. He could walk. He, now, if he was like, I wouldn't let him drive. I would say, hey, bro, I don't feel comfortable. Let me drive. Even though it's my first time driving, <laughs> let me drive. I just thought, like, at late night, no traffic jam. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah, that's true. But, oh, you know what else you need to do? You need to, to like, uh, board matatus, like the public matatus. Public matatus? Yeah. Where? <laughs> like, you have to, like, commute with matatus so you can feel the, the vibe. Ma the vibe. Uh, are you scared? No, I'm not scared. Why would I be scared? <laughs> you don't see what I do for videos? Yeah, you're crazy. Uh, I, was, I was gonna walk with the lions in South Africa, but it got too cold. Oh. I was literally gonna walk with the lions. Like walk, walk on the park? Like walk, walk. with them. Oh. Like two lions and I was gonna walk with them. Yeah. But it got so cold that I didn't do it anymore. So that's a mock drink? This one, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Like, we, it's like you literally having a, a cocktail. Yeah, with no alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're having a cocktail. Yeah. Is there, and this is mine. This is the, the ginger. Thank you. How is it? It's good. So how many languages do you speak? <laughs> and name the languages. English. <laughs> and? Swahili. Swahili. And my mother tongue, that's what. Swahili is a little bit more common because they speak it in Tanzania, I think. Yeah, Tanzania, Uganda. Yeah, yeah. like um, South Africa. They speak Afrikaans and Zulu, uh -huh. and then Kausa, mm -hmm. then they have a lot of different languages, but if Which I'm going to learn like a language, the main one, the main one yeah. it, it's more Zulu, Zulu. it's oh. more Zulu, so Zulu would be the main one. Oh, so you're saying if you are going to learn one? If I'm going to learn a language, it's hard to learn a language that a lot of people don't speak because then you can't practice. Yeah. So like if I learn a language, let's say I learn Zulu. Yeah. Of Afrikaans, which is the one that would be the hardest because a lot of people don't speak it. So, the only people that speak Afrikaans in South Africa is either whites or mixed, right? Not many blacks speak Afrikaans. Some do, not many. So, it'd be hard to learn it because once you leave South Africa, who are you going to practice with? <laughs> Spanish, you can learn it anywhere. Portuguese, Portuguese, you can almost learn it anywhere. People say Portuguese is hard. Nah, no, it's easy. It's easier than Spanish. Easier than Spanish. Because it's some of the words are in English and Portuguese, like um, mm -hmm. basketball. Mm -hmm. It's basketball in Portuguese. Mm -hmm. And Spanish is balon baloncesto. Mm -hmm. Portuguese is basketball. Um, dancing is dancing in Portuguese. And Spanish is bailar. You can say bailar in Portuguese, they'll understand, mm -hmm. but it's dança, it's dancing. Mm -hmm. Same thing as English. Some of the words got a little bit of English. Mm -hmm. Spanish? French. Yeah. You speak French. A little, yeah, I speak a little bit of French. I think it's hard for me. <laughs> I don't think. I would say, I would say French would be the hardest. Spanish is not that hard. And once you get... Oh, Chinese? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Mandarin? <laughs> I'm not trying to learn. I'm good. I'm straight. No, nah, I'm good. I'm not trying to learn no Chinese. Korean. Mandarin? Korean? Or Arabic? Korea. No, no. Oh, Korea. No, yeah. no. Arabic is hard too because you have to, you have to speak from here. Yeah. So. And when I was in Morocco, I learned all the bad words. It's, it's, besides thank you, you're welcome, mm -hmm. everything else I knew was bad words in Arabic. Mm -hmm. why, why do black, black, like, black men like travel to Latin America? <laughs> you know I'm going to ask that. <laughs> besides the women? Yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna be honest with you, 100 percent honest, it's mm -hmm. because it's cheaper. Like let's just say, let's just say you, you're Kenyan, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say you can go to Brazil, mm -hmm. and when you get to Brazil, your chillings mm -hmm. is five times more. Mm -hmm. Like so, whatever money you have now is five times more. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go to Brazil and be like, wow, hey, you're gonna be drinking or mm -hmm. whatever you want because mm -hmm. you, your money is more. Well, and then the flight ticket to. From America to like Latin America. It's cheap. It's cheap. Yeah, I could fly to Dominican Republic for like one way for like a hundred dollars. Yeah, I can't way. even fly from I know. Kenya to Tanzania. I know. I know. I booked a ticket to Tanzania. I canceled. It was one sixty-eight, one seventy. You're lucky. It was one seventy. Last time I checked, it was three hundred dollars to and fro. Oh, to and fro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the main reason is it's cheap. It's cheap. Yeah, your money goes a long way, you know. And it, and the flight is close. It's only mm -hmm. three, four hours. Like, if somebody only has three days off of work, mm -hmm. they're gonna fly to Africa, which is gonna take what nine, oh. ten, eleven, twelve hours, yeah. depending what part of Africa. Yeah. Like Nigeria would be like uh, eight hours. No, Nigeria would be like eight and a half, nine, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then you have another. You have to fly back. That's sixteen hours. You only have three days off. You already spent almost a whole day on flight. Mm -hmm. Well, you can go to Colombia, be there in three hours, spend a whole three days, and come back on the fourth day. And your money goes up. But apart from flight ticket, Africa is, is cheap. Yeah, 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 it's cheap. Apart from, apart from flight, flight tickets. And yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, that's why I'm here, because uh, mm -hmm. I'm here to help promote Africa. Because I'm not just leaving, I'm when I go home, I'm coming back to Africa. You're coming back. Yeah, I plan to stay, I plan to do a lot of countries in Africa. So it's not going to be just Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya. Yeah. I'm going to hit up probably Uganda. Uh, I'm going to do the, the, the whole three places, three visas. Oh, the three Rwanda, visas. Tanzania. The East African. Yeah. Rwanda. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go to Ethiopia. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to go to Ghana. I'm going to mm -hmm. go to uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Senegal, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, all that, and maybe Angola. If not Angola, Mozambique. I'm going to one of the countries that speak Portuguese, either uh -huh. Mozambique uh -huh. or Angola. Uh -huh. Right now, it looks like it might be more Mozambique because uh -huh. I can hit Mozambique and go up to Tanzania and do the, you know. Uh -huh. so. so it's gonna be Africa for a while for checking effect, basically. That's nice. Yeah. It's not going to be um, just coming and then leaving. I've been in Africa for more than two months. Mm. You're in Nigeria for one month? Yeah. And then South Africa? One month. One month. One, two months? Yeah. Wow. I did two weeks, two weeks and jo Josie. Mm -hmm. Two weeks and Cape Town. Mm -hmm. Well, not a full two weeks, like ten days. And then I did one week in Durban. That's a month. That's more than a month. Durban and Durban, they're similar? Are they similar? They're completely different. One has warmer weather, one has a beach, one doesn't. One has, Durban has a beach. Durban is, is strictly Zulu territory. Strictly Zulu. So everybody in Durban is almost Zulu. Zulu colored white Indian. Big Indian population. The biggest Indian population in all of uh, mm -hmm. So, Durban is completely different and it's big Zulu popular. But if you go to Josie, you be House, Kausa, Swaziland, all the different <coughs> tribes. So oh, yeah, that we definitely could. Sh what? You was gonna eat all that? No. No, he, he added it. She added it. Oh. <laughs> she added cheese. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm glad we're sharing. No, it's okay. Like this, yeah. Oh, I'm glad we're sharing. <laughs> Damn, I should have had a dirty hand. So here's the plate, guys. This is what we're going to eat. And this, what meat is this? This is... Hey, hey. Carol. It's called lamb. And carol. This is lamb? Yeah, this is the roast pan fried. Roast? Yeah, goat or meat. Goat, yeah, it's a goat. Mm. Pan fried goat meat. And then this is huh? garlic. Yeah, this is a colita roast. Yeah, roast. Yeah, that is. Roast con pollo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is pop. 
this and is what is that? This is a carrot potatoes. All right. Okay, so thanks. can I actually wear the bathroom so I can wash my hands? Wash my hands. I'll be back. Okay. I'll be back. Then I I go. Okay. Yeah. Then you go after. Me. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm gonna try this. I wanted to try this on camera, but before we try this, I want to know how much a plate of food like this costs. And down below, I'm gonna put the exchange rate so you can know. So let's just say without the drinks, how much would is this without the drinks? <laughs> we'll find out when Kara gets back because we took the menu. We got the menu here, but we'll, we, we'll find out when she gets back. Mm. Mm. It's soft. Mm. Mm. Good. I'm so tired. So far, so good. And this is collard greens. Yeah. What is, and what is this sauce for? This is for the this is, um, for the, for the, for the, for the yeah. meat. Okay. Is it hot? Huh? Is it hot? It's supposed to be hot. Yeah, it's hot. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, like spicy hot. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. This is the spice. You don't like spice. I don't like it too hot, but yeah. I'm going to try it. Yeah. This meat is really good. All right. Hey, can you? Hey, can you? <laughs> I'll try a little bit of this. It's hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's hot. Mm. <laughs> it's good though. Mm. It doesn't taste like no pop, right? <laughs> You're scared of this one. <laughs> I have the pop. Like you have to test them together. I know. <laughs> with the with the with the meat. Yeah, you have to test it with the meat, with the collard. All together, together. all three. I have to. Yeah. What happens if you I put don't? like this? What happens if no, I don't? No, it it will give you that taste, like the pleasure. <laughs> so in the Zulu culture in South Africa, mm -hmm. if you go out in a place like this with a woman, mm -hmm. they, when they hear the word budget, is like. So this is our tent. This is the budget tent. Oh, that's nice, brother. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. That's it's nice. It's an experience. Yeah. So, if you are too full, you close, it looks like this. Mm. Yeah. So shower. So, are you residents or non-residents? Uh -huh. Non-resident. Yeah. So for non-residents, all inclusive, including the transport and everything, is six hundred USD. Yeah. For you, it's twenty-two thousand shillings. Yeah. For everything, three days. Yeah. For non-resident, you know, even the park fees, the park entry fees, is different. Yeah. Uh, with the ID. Yeah. Because for the park entry fees, is one sixty US dollars. Oh, you know, in fact, me fanya ivo. Eh, isha anza. Me toko koleo. Eh, me toko koleo. Siyazi, siyazi, wacha ni konya. Siyazi kudanganya. No nata, 
hata huyu unaona huyu anafanya 3 days eh Joining But like for now she's being private only. Mm. Anafanya eight, uh, seven days private. Mm. Amboseli, Alpajeta, Nakuru, Masaimara, private. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, she's, she, she wants to have the best time. So she does, you know when you do like a, such a long safari, yeah. when you do group training, it inconveniences yeah, a lot. Be, yeah. Because this person, that it's person. A, this yeah. one, this, this one, this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can take my number. Yeah. yeah. And there's two days, right? Yeah, two nights. Two, two nights. nights. Two nights. So that's three days. Ah, yeah, yeah. Three days, two nights. Yeah, and that is um, money all inclusive, including your enough food. drinking water, food, food everything, food. all the all the meals mm. from day one to the last day. Mm. And the two thousand for you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Francis Safari, that's me. Perfect, brother. Yeah, Safari, that's how yeah. I know. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Perfect. Okay, hey, brother. Thank you so much. So, in case of any question, Asante Sana. I hear you talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My question is answer. And I'm all the way up to October. Me, doctor. I can not do a August in a condom. I shake up his own. August. August. So, plan, plan any time during August. Okay, sir. Uh, August is the best time for migration. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? You said this? Hmm? Huh? What do you say? This for you? Yeah, this is for me. Yeah, because I thought it was like I'm going to get a fake Kenyan ID. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay somebody, bro. Hook me up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but that's for two days, and that includes the hotel. I mean, food, food no, no. That includes the food, right? Because, like, let's say you get a place. And, the, and you're going on that car. Mm -hmm. so that includes the transport, the hotel, yeah. the food, drinks. At first, it sounds like a lot, but then when you add everything, it's really not that bad. Because, like me, for example, if I get a place for two days, I'm going to probably spend like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. No, 80, no, no, like 40, 45 a night, mm -hmm. okay. two nights, 90, mm -hmm. so that's $90 just taken off the place. And then, now it's the great migration, right now it's the best time to go. If, no, but if I was to go, it would have to be when I'm leaving the place, so yeah, I don't have to pay double. That makes sense. Like, I leave this. Yeah, you said, like, you can, you can book anything from now until... Yeah, I'm, um... I'm leaving this place Wednesday, so if I was to do it, mm -hmm. it would be better to just leave that Wednesday or Thursday. Mm -hmm. And they'll come pick you up for... Yeah, and then I don't pay for because then I would pay for mm -hmm. this and that. Yeah, makes sense. Or we'll get the hotel, tell the hotel, hey, I'm going on a trip. No, he said it's okay if I look like any time. Yeah, I know. But what I'm saying is the hotel I'm staying at, I could book it. Check out, tell the hotel, hold my, just my clothes, and I bring my personal stuff. And I don't have to bring all my suitcases. Mm. Yeah, it's a big Jeep, it looks like it has enough room. It's a comfortable room. I think it's a decent price. The what? It's a decent price. Yeah. Yeah. It's because you talk that English. <laughs> hmm? It's because you talk that English. <laughs> Yeah.
try not to. He's still new. Okay, okay. No, it just asked for. Okay. Well, when he said when he said resident, mm. that's when he knew. He was ah, uh, okay. You could try to act like. But maybe still he thinks you're Kenyan, but from another. Yeah. Yeah. But he told me he told me in dollars. So you in Chile? After you said like this. Oh. Uh, Or you can still negotiate for fun. <laughs> I think so. Mm -hmm. I think you say, hey, there's two people, three people. This is the price that we have. You know? mm -hmm. So it's 300 a night. Mm -hmm. so it's 300 a night for me. You yeah, said 600, right? Yeah. So it's 300 a night. Two nights. Oh, it's three days. Yeah, and then. It's inclusive of the drive like, the and, and the and the place to stay. Because yeah. you know, there's like a park in Nairobi Park, Nairobi National Park, there's a park in the city. And that alone is 10,000, like $100 to go. A day trip. Mm. But you can always negotiate. Mm -hmm. Nice for this to go. Mm -hmm. I'm nice for this to go and eat it later because they have the chili thing. They make the food stuck right here. No, it's not your fault. The tea will help. Just waiting for it to go down. So Swahili, is it easy to learn? Swahili. Guys, the food is too much. Thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. Thank you. <laughs> I'm telling him it's cold and he's nah, saying that is, it's perfect. This is perfect weather. Oh, that's what I need to do. I heard y'all. Matatu. Matatu. They got music and drinks and stuff? Yeah, I know. Not guys do. Because um, it's like that in, in, in South Africa, right? So, guys, ever since Ruto said yes to vlogging, you see? Ever since the youth, the president said yes to vlogging. Oh, in people town. could just come out and record? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kenyan president. That's very good. You're taking care of us. Yes. Looking out for us. Now you can just come out and vlog and yeah. just, they, they know it's normal and nothing. You know what I'm yes. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. To show love. Yeah. Kenya and he's getting our 15% tax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fight somebody. Huh? She about to fight somebody. Yeah. Sure. Now it's recording? Let me see. So I'm using her camera right now. <laughs> I'm teaching her how to vlog. In the streets. In the streets. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> and then you got this thing too? Oh, mine's yeah. actually recorded. Yeah, <laughs> You got this thing, so you go, man, this is so wide open. Look how the people looking at me. They're like, look, man, this is an easy lick. This is an easy lick. I need something like this. Yo. What's up, brother? It's heavy. It's not really heavy, but it like, it's Quality. just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it, but it's just too much attention for me. Like the way I record and the places I be going. If I had this, people would not be comfortable. Man, they, they would have grabbed this a long time ago. I would have been got robbed. <laughs> you see how I record. Yeah. So. I want, I like so with the king and president, we could just do this and we ain't got to worry about nothing. Yeah. We chill, chill. As long as we give out 50. <laughs> I ain't give him nothing. <laughs> Let me not say that. Because if I say that, he's going no. he to track me down. <laughs> there you go. I um. don't <laughs> So, if I want to be a traveler vlog, I should first invest in a small camera. Um, <laughs> you want to be a travel vlogger, it's better to have a camera that's less suspicious. So, something more incognito, uh -huh. like a GoPro, uh, DJI, uh -huh. action cam. Um, also, they have these the camcorder cameras. Yeah. 
those cameras are really good too. Um, the 4K ones, mm -hmm. they're very small. They're like really small. That would be a good. If you're a travel vlogger, you vlogging outside like this, yeah. But if you're yeah. just like interviewing people, like you, like this right here, you interview people like, then you can use a bigger camera because mm -hmm. your channel is not about kind of traveling in the streets. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Guys, gonna look for it. See that, Casey. Hey. <laughs> hey. I have nothing. I have nothing. Good Lord, you want? For your kind. So I'm taking Zach. <laughs> oh, I'm missing your name right. Check. Check. Oh, why, why do you call? Why do you call yourself that? Because it's a country. My father named me that. My father named me that. Because he was there when he when he was conceived with my mother. So, Conception. Yeah, my father was in the military. So oh, okay. Check. You know, my dad was in the military too. Yeah. Yeah. Kenya. Welcome. Yeah, Kenya. Let's go tell Ellen and not here. I'm teaching him how to bag game. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna give you a a, 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 a a deal, right? Okay. I'm gonna give you 800 for it. Make it No, then I then I, you know why I tell you 800? Because I see the lady have one and she was gonna give me for eight. So now I'm gonna go to the lady and get it for eight. I I pack for you, huh? Nah, this is food. I don't want the grease. Doing it, my thing, thing, my thug thizzle. <laughs> I said, I, I said, I, what I, I said, I'll pay. I told her, I said, I, this, I was going to pay 700 And she was like, really? I said, yeah, really. Okay, make it eight. <laughs> but so, guys, I'm taking him to the Matatus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mumbai, you said again? Uh, uh, no. Why you say what's up again? Uh, uh, Karibu. Huh? He said Karibu. Where is your friend? Karibu. Where is your friend? Mbele. Oh. Apa kuhu meja, apa kuhu misho. Kasege. Wabi. Kasege. Yeah. Oh, I think she like me. Oh, I think she like me. I'm the top shot to spit my show and bought a watch piece. She wanna get a residual, so they stretching it, wanna get physical. You can never finesse in my money long. All my bitches are bad just like me alone. We in the sauce jam, Alibaba saucepan, knocking out the boss man. Zoos looking more real, bars looking glam and poised, driving whips and boys crazy. Blink Bishaman, itching in an act, fault, accidental dome. Kool Aid coming for the raw strawberry cone. Strawberry raw. <coughs> So how's your experience, my tattoo? So far, my experience here is very, very good. Uh, the people are very welcoming and they treat me very nice. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> Even though I'm an American I'm from the United States, but I feel like I'm Kenyan. Oh, oh okay. Lord! <laughs> I don't have no change. Don't give you.
Berry foam flux water A daughter paddle couldn't save you From the daughter's wet rattle room Wasn't built on the backs of the slack ones I been pulling back tons of reggaeton Dress to impress a dark room No one in for the lip gloss So we're gonna end the night like this, huh? Yeah So we are going to end the video With a <laughs> Kenyan beer, this beer is made in Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> Do you recommend this beer? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna try this beer. That's sweet. Yeah, this is sweet. This is sweet. It's for ladies. It's for Kenya too, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do the honors and open it. Well, now open the ladies first, obviously. Sure. She's doing it all professional. She's not professional. Yeah, the ladies first. Ladies first. No, today there's not not a lot of people. Yeah, it's Sunday. Okay. 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 Oh. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Mm. It's a little bit bitter, but it's not too bitter. You know? yeah. Already. Good. So, what are the misconceptions of Africa? Um, one of the misconceptions of Africa is that a lot of people think that uh, these African countries are are everybody's poor, everybody's broke, dirt mm -hmm. roads, lions in the streets, giraffes mm -hmm. next to your house. So, one of the biggest misconceptions is that Africa is there's beautiful places in Africa just there, like there is in the Western world. Mm -hmm. But they don't they don't push that image out to people in the Western world. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's what I how, what I feel. Mm -hmm. I, and I don't think it's just me. It's a lot, a lot, a of, lot of people. people. Yeah. Yeah. Like even me growing up, I didn't know. Like mm -hmm. they pushed a bad image mm -hmm. to us about Africa. That like we used to watch commercials and see kids mm -hmm. that you you know that that family don't have money and you see flies flying around their face and we thought that. The whole Africa was like that. Like mm -hmm. when I say we, I mean oh. people that I know. So yeah. I'm not speaking for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking for other people. And the truth, like, why have you seen when you come? Since I've like been to Africa. Yeah. Shit, this is like this modern, device. good infrastructure. Look mm -hmm. at the roads. Not everywhere in Africa got dirt roads and bad roads. Mm -hmm. um, South, even South Africa changed my conception of Africa. Also because it's very yeah. modern over there, so mm -hmm. it's not what we thought. And that's why it's good for me to come out here and promote Africa, try mm -hmm. to push Africa content, and try to have some people, definitely. I know Africa is a little bit expensive as far as flying, mm -hmm. but besides flying, mm -hmm. it's cheap once you get here. It's just the flight part. So hopefully, you know, people can save and mm -hmm. take that trip to the motherland. Mm -hmm. Whether it's West Africa, East Africa, or South. Mm -hmm. So are you going to tell the people? What I'm going to tell them? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, watch Checking Effect videos and <laughs> come to Kenya. Come to South Africa. Come to Ethiopia. Come to Uganda. Come to Wanda. Come to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Come to West Africa. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to push. I'm going to work on Africa this, this, mm -hmm. this term. Mm -hmm. It's going to be more African content. It's going to be some nice African content mm -hmm. showing the beautiful country, good, bad, and the ugly. How about the nightlife and the women? Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Well, I can't, I can't speak for Kenya yet because I haven't hung out much. It's the but first night. Yesterday is my first, no, it's my first, yesterday so, was my first night. Today is my second day. Yeah. But that night, it was a Saturday night, and the place where I was at was nice. The thing I like about the nightlife here is mm -hmm. people are upbeat. They're mm -hmm. friendly. Mm -hmm. They're like laugh, talk with you. Like, hey, my name is Bella. And I'm like look, looking like, what? Like, you don't get that from women that they just come and shake your hand, tell you who, introduce yeah. themselves. Mm -hmm. So the nightlife is lit in Kenya. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, I love the nightlife in South Africa also. But mm -hmm. I think the people in Kenya are a little bit more friendlier and more upbeat. Welcoming. Welcoming, yeah. Perfect word. Yeah. Opposed to South Africa.
They're both good, mm -hmm. but here is more welcome. Where will the people find you? Where will they find me? Yeah. They can find me right here in Kenya. <laughs> Come to Kenya, you'll find me in Nairobi. Right here. Nah, but anyway, Check and Effect is the channel. C-Z-E-C-H-I-N-E-F-E-C-T. -E -E That's my channel. I got the YouTube and Instagram. Mm. Do not follow me on Facebook because somebody's using my content. Yeah. And I'm going to find out. So I do, I do have a Facebook, but it's not a Check and Effect Facebook. So Check and Effect, Instagram, and YouTube. That's where you can find me. Okay, guys. Bye. I'll link everything on the description down below description box down below give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't i'm trying to reach 50,000 subscribers <laughs> <laughs> okay bye <laughs> um, yeah i'm trying to reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of how long can i say something can i say yeah. a disclaimer yeah she's been drinking and i'm gonna tell you no, oh, no i'm not gonna embarrass you i'm not gonna embarrass you earlier today she said she's trying to reach 5,000 subscribers instead of 50,000. So I was like, Yo, yeah. I told her, do the video again because you said 5,000, you didn't say 50. So people were like, what? 5,000? So she, we're doing this video. This is our second take. I only took one and a half beer, guys. I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm not drunk. That one and a half beer must be a high percentage because you are feeling yourself. I never said you was drunk, but you are tips. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs> Every time a nigga link up, she always ready to cash out. Yeah, don't fuck with no gold digger. Bitch, I am no bubs, go fuck with them old niggas. Some of these rappers is bold, don't let me expose niggas. My bed never fold, always stay down, always ten toes. That's word of my folks, nigga, I'm rolling.